Hello, I'm Claire Snowden-Darling. I'm Laura Knowles. And we are the founders of Balance Wellness and the College of Functional Wellness. So we want to talk to you about why we're unique. Well, it's, it's quite a big list. <laughs> Firstly, we like doing things like this. <laughs> we're very sensible. Uh, but no, with our sensible heads on, we have both been through the most astonishing journey. So this was a career change for both of us. And I went into clinic in 2008 and you went into clinic in 2010. It's because I thought your job was cool. It, it was cool, it still is cool. And predominantly we both got into uh, health because we were unwell and we had looked everywhere for the solutions for our health and had drawn blanks. So we have both trained in a variety of disciplines and we, the, the main discipline that we trained in was kinesiology and kinesiology is an incredible therapy and you can read more about that on a variety of our sites and platforms. Uh, but through our journey, we realized that despite how brilliant this therapy was and despite how disciplined we were in our approach with our nutrition, and our supplementation and exercise and our emotional work, something wasn't shifting. And we also started to see that clients were getting to the point where something wasn't shifting. And after a very dramatic <laughs> experience with my health around about 2015, after a period of increased, like massive amounts of stress and overwhelm, something happened and a new way of working uh, kind of came to came to us. Uh, I've got notes, so I'm looking down. Um, I'm looking down because I had to write notes. Uh, and basically, um, I came up with a clinical model, which we call the triangle of hormonal health. And it is a very clever model because it breaks down the very complex interplay of what is going on in the human body with our hormones because they are in charge of everything. And this very simply uh, looks at how we can empower ourselves and our clients to make day-to-day -day changes that will actually change their health, but starting with the foundations. So we look at blood sugar stabilization, we look at stress hormones, and then we actually look at the sex hormones because they are hugely responsible for our wellness. And when these are out of balance, we find that people end up with digestive issues and immune dysfunction. So by dealing with the triangle of hormonal health, we can in fact get people well, we got ourselves well, and we start to understand what is at the root cause of our illness. So we do this in a variety of ways. Firstly, with the triangle, we're looking at what we call the six pillars of health, blood sugar stabilization and diet. We're looking at stress in the body, stress hormones. Now stress doesn't just come because we're a bit stressed at work and the kids are annoying us. Stress happens all the time to our human body because we are living in a time where we're surrounded by stresses, persistent organic pollutants, pesticides, um, uh, toxic chemicals, technology, cleaning, technology processed food, uh, it's, it's everywhere. And so these stressors are actually causing us to be in a stress response. So we don't even have then the bandwidth to be able to deal with the emotional stress that's happening. Uh, and so we look at that, how can we address that? Lots of ways. We then look at the, the, the sex hormones. And so these become very imbalanced when we actually have issues in stress and can lead to all sorts of issues. So in men, that could be prostate issues, low testosterone. In women, we are talking about the gamut of issues. They could be everything from anxiety and acne and bowel dysfunction to PCOS and endometriosis and infertility and bad periods and menopause, perimenopause, like just huge issues in those female hormone areas. And then obviously, as I mentioned, we start to look at the digestion and we've created a clinic model there called the bowel, uh, the, the bowel hormone storm and how these things all interconnect. And we then dive deeper and look at things like small intestine bacterial overgrowth and a whole host of other other things that are going on in the bowel. And then finally, we get to immune because the digestion and the immune aren't actually, that while they might be where your symptoms are manifesting, 
they are by the root causes. And so we deal with the foundational pieces so that these victims of this instability can actually be pulled back into balance. I think what's so unique about our journeys and our history is we were blessed to be able to work together as a partnership and we both had different conditions so we were dealing with our own personal journeys and we also had successful clinics that had we kept seeing the same things coming in and we were putting our heads together we were looking at the research we were looking at our own clinical practice and and, and what was coming in and what we were seeing. And we started to apply theories to how we were working and change the way that we were working. And having this relationship, this dynamic where we can have these conversations, okay, I've seen this and, and Claire would bring a piece of information and we'd be able to put the piece of the puzzle together. Yes. And that is very much one of the unique things that we have brought to the college as well as to our clinics. Yes, absolutely. And then the sixth pillar in the six pillars is our work with emotional transformation because uh, there's a huge body of work called psychoneuroimmunology that talks about how our physical health can very often be a manifestation of our emotional health or our mental health issues. And we have created a big body of work called Holding Space because we are so deeply passionate about ourselves as practitioners and other practitioners being able to hold space for clients to be able to break through the blocks that are holding them back the conditioning that stops them from being who they are all the places that we are shooting ourselves living in guilt doing things out of duty feeling resentful just not being in a place of being liberated and able to be conscious autonomous adults because we're scared we're anxious we're just bogged down in a whole load of really challenging negative emotions. This is why I get excited about working the way we do, because we look at it, we call it the bees, we look at it from the biochemical perspective. So what food we're putting in our, in our bodies, what nutrients are we missing? What chemicals are we putting on our skin? We look at the emotional realm. So how are our emotions are affecting our well-being? We look at the electrical realm. So this is from the world of acupuncture and how the meridians, we are electrical beings. Our nervous systems are electrical currents. So how that is also affecting our health. Mm. And we look structurally. So this is the, the, the muscles. We, we are kinesiologists by trade. So we use muscle testing. And we are looking at things like posture mm. and how this relationship between muscles and organs can show us what is going on for someone's health. And then also not even just in terms of posture, but when we're talking structure, we're talking about structures in the body, such as the temporal mandibular joint. So many people wear mouth guards at night. So many people have, you know, bruxism or they have, they're constantly, you know, chewing their tongue or biting their lip. Uh, we have all sorts of jaw issues, grinding our teeth. That that's that's a structural issue. We also have the ileocecal valve in the bowel, which is fundamental for bowel health and really important to address when we're actually dealing with things like irritable bowel syndrome. So we look at all of these things, and yes, we call that the bees. So we are looking at this whole health approach. And then lastly, but not leastly, one of the things that I really am deeply proud of and value very much about how we work is we work in a staged approach. So we are able to guide our clients and our students through a process. So when someone comes to see us for the first time or one of our fabulous students, it's like we're going on a journey. Now that journey might only take two months. It might take two years. It might, in my case, take 20. <laughs> but either way, we're going on a journey. And so we're not going to do everything in one session. We're going to look at things in a really step, logical, step-by-step -step and approachable way. We're going to review diet. We're going to get your blood sugars balanced. And we're going to start to work on the stress. Now we can talk about, okay, what, how else can we ease stress? What else can you include in your life? We're going to start to work with some of those structural techniques. And basically the work deepens as it needs to. 
For some people, just cleaning up diet is a one hit wonder and that's it, you feel so much better. But for other people where it's more complicated, it's a journey, it's a process, it's an unfolding. And when we have hit the limit of where we can help, the thing that we are so passionate about is we know the people to refer onto and we teach our students who to refer onto. There is nothing that I think builds trust more than being able to sit there and say to a client, I absolutely promise you that when I've hit the limit of where I can help you, I will be able to refer you on to someone who can. Mm. And being able to teach people that where that limit is. And before that happens, we also are able to drop into some lab work and testing. And it's just this glorious process. And I say glorious because the thing that people don't often understand is that our symptoms might be a right pain, but there is so much gold because it's just your body trying to get you to see what needs changing. It's trying to shine a light on where we can make changes. And so the thing that I think is the most unique about the process of working with us or training with us is this <clears throat> journey where we go, we, we start to really listen to what our bodies are teaching us and therefore we make peace with what's going on and it will either change or we learn how to manage it. But either way we are learning more about ourselves, more about our bodies, more about what our bodies need. And it, that, that is beautiful. It's like the ultimate goal. Anything else to add? No, I, I, I was quite happy listening to you. <laughs> it, it, it is, as a practitioner who has that structure, so when someone comes in and they've got this, maybe this list of different things that they're struggling with, and I go, I know how to work with this, and this is like a real staged approach. We're gonna look at this first, and then we're gonna go here, and then we're gonna go here. And I've got all of these um, troubleshooting, when things go out of whack, then I know what to do. I know how to support my client. And we teach our students this, so it's, it's, it's enabled me to be a very confident practitioner. Mm -hmm. And what I've seen is it's enabled us to create confident practitioners in our students. Yes, and my experience of it is it's made me very confident in managing my symptoms because when something's gone out of balance or when I'm having a bad day, I don't go into a tailspin of, oh my gosh, I'm back at square one. Oh my gosh, this is awful. I go, oh, ah, oh, okay. What did I eat yesterday? Did I overdo it? Where wasn't I paying attention? And it gives me the tools to bring the power back, not get into a panic and take more self-responsibility. It's quite a lot of unique. <laughs> we love it. <laughs> we just love what we do. We really do. So please get in touch to find out more. Uh, yeah, we just want to share this with as many people as possible.